About half of people who come out of prison end up back in prison within three years. And so if we're going to reduce that recidivism rate, we need to better understand what happens to people when they come out of prison, the challenges they face, how some are able to overcome those challenges and succeed despite the odds against them, while others struggle and eventually end up uh, back in prison. Our book is called On the Outside, Prisoner Reentry and Reintegration, and it's about the process of coming out of prison, entering back into society and developing a new life for yourself after you've been released from prison. When we started the project, not much was known about the process of coming out of prison and reintegrating back into society. How do people rebuild their social networks? How do they look for jobs? How do they find housing? How do they meet their basic needs? Uh, do they get connected to institutions like churches? And do they get re-engaged in, in political and civic life? One thing the book does is just document how difficult it is to come out of prison and rebuild your life. Many people have trouble even meeting their basic needs for food and shelter. You know, they struggle to find stable housing. Uh, they struggle to reconnect with family members. They struggled with uh, addiction. The people who were most successful often were those who had the most family support. Given how hard it is for people coming out of prison to rebuild their lives, should we be sending them to prison in the first place? Should we be putting people through this, given that uh, there's no real evidence that prison is rehabilitative, and in fact, there's some evidence that it makes it harder for people to stay away from crime once they've been to prison. If there were fewer people in prison, then we could reinvest those dollars both in preventing the types of problems that lead people to pr prison and also helping people who are coming out of prison to rebuild their lives. We also need to give people uh, better access to drug and alcohol treatment. We could also change the way we operate parole, the system that supervises people after they've come out of prison. If we could provide people with stable housing for the first three, six months, even a year after their release, give them that economic foundation on which to rebuild their lives and start investing in their future, uh, that would also go a long way. On the Outside is one of the first academic studies that's large-scale uh, mixed-method study of the experience of prisoner reentry and reintegration. So we're really trying to kind of humanize the people who are experiencing uh, prisoner reentry and reintegration, kind of in contrast to the public dialogue which tends to demonize people who have a criminal record or, or have been to prison.